Hanoi at night is a magical place, especially in the old quarter in the evening after a light rainfall. The streets are glistening. It's like right out of an exotic movie. It's safe and friendly. The people are out. The restaurants and cafes and bars are open. There's places to go, and it's a small area. It's less than a square mile, so you can wander freely. As we're walking along, we'll show you some scenes from the weekend night market and discuss the very interesting economy of Vietnam and how it's been changing. If this were a purely communist society, then most, if not all, of the workers would be employed by the government working in government-owned businesses, but this is certainly not the case in Vietnam and certainly not in Hanoi. Nearly all of the jobs are private sector jobs, and curiously, it's been estimated that about 25% of the total employment in Vietnam is what's called the informal sector of the economy. The informal, that's like Household business, private business, entrepreneur, a sole proprietor, just somebody who's working for themselves, nearly 25% of the economy. So there's a lot of individual initiative here. And, well, with this informal economy, another uh, aspect of it is they don't pay much in the way of taxes either. So that's a little bit of an issue for the society at large. It's particularly prevalent in Hanoi being an urban culture, there are approximately a million workers in Hanoi in the informal economy, which is nearly half the workforce. And the kinds of jobs that are found in this informal economy are primarily service jobs, which consists of small restaurants and repair services, transportation, that's about 40% of the total employment. And then there's trade, which is the retail trade and shops. And only marginally in manufacturing of goods, of food and textile and clothing products. About 20% there. This informal economy is huge and yet the average size of an informal business is just one and a half workers. And most of these informal businesses don't have a formal business location. They don't have a shop. They either work out of their home, that's about half of them, or they have no work premises at all. That's 40%. And of course, one of the issues with the informal economy is that it's tough to make a living that way. You work long hours and you have low pay and the social security coverage is non-existent. The benefits are just not there and the labor conditions are not very good. So this is a kind of unfortunate situation, particularly considering this is a communist nation, supposedly, in which the government is supposed to take care of the people. The best overall hope for the Vietnamese economy is that it will continue growing at that 6% rate per year, if not greater and continue being integrated into the world economy, which will benefit everyone. And the economy of Vietnam is becoming increasingly urbanized. You have to remember that back 30, 40 years ago, this was a largely rural and agricultural nation. In 1998, for example, 67% of the population worked in agriculture. But just seven years later, that had dropped to under 50%. And that's all due to a very vibrant urbanization process. People moving to the cities, getting jobs, working at factories, in shops, earning a wage, or creating their own business. The average income in Vietnam during even these critical periods of 2008, 2009, the average income has increased over those previous four years by 66 percent. So there really have been some remarkable leaps forward in progress in the Vietnamese economy. While most people working in the informal economy are not making a lot of money, one advantage is that they really can't be fired. 
sure, things can get tougher, but it's a more resilient type of layer of the economy that is not affected as much or directly by global recessions. You're not working for a business that's cutting back their employees. You're working for yourself. This restaurant summarizes everything about the Vietnamese economy. It's a busy place. It's got mixed uses. There's internet. There's a travel agency. There's food. There's beer. There's people having fun. It says it all. We have a lot more programs about Hanoi on our website, tourvideos.com, which also has hundreds of movies about other great places in the world.